Oh, Bastoni stuck a leg out there. Oh, nine was almost in. Yo, roommates here, and welcome to a FIFA 23 player review for 86 rated foot centurions, Alessandro Bastoni. So he stands six foot three inches tall. He has medium high work rates, good work rates. His preferred foot is his left, and he's got a three star weak foot and only two star skill moves. So I bought him for 35,000 coins on the market. Seems pretty decent. So he can play centre back and centre back only. His club into Milan. He's got the Serie A links and the Italian links. Before I get into the stats, could I quickly please ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already? That'd be greatly appreciate it thank you so much so i'm going to start with a shadow on him so an anchor can make him the lengthy accelerate type a shadow he is the controlled accelerate type so i'll see how he is with a shadow and then if i feel ne it's necessary i'll change to an anchor to make him lengthy but with a shadow his acceleration is boosted up to 83 sprint speed up to 92 don't worry about his shooting it is terrible passing 83 short passing 83 long passing good enough for a center back Dribbling, agility 77, balance 75, reactions 90, ball control 80, dribbling 76 and composure 83. Not bad for a centre back to be, to be fair. Defending, boosted with the shadow, this looks good. Interceptions 95, heading accuracy 88, defensive awareness 94, standing tackle 98 and sliding tackle 99. Physical stats look good. Jumping already at 80, stamina 84, should last all of the game as a centre back, strength 85 and aggression 87. So he's got a power header and team player traits. I'm going to be playing him in the centre back position in a 4 2 3 1 narrow in this team. So let's see how he plays. Hmm. Decent tackle, Bastoni there. Didn't keep the ball though. Good interception. Long leg. Kept up with Haaland there. Pretty impressive. Oh dear, what am I doing? Oh, got the ball back. That was good. Nice switch into space. Referee says he fouled. Uh, bit soft. Ooh, almost got beaten here by Van Dijk, Bastoni. Bastoni beat there by Haaland. We almost concede. Good play. Won the ball back for us. Great tackle. Keeps the ball as well. Nice pass. Nice interception. Easy pass. Decent long ball as well. Good block. Under pressure. Ooh, great play. Couldn't get away with it, but wins the throw. He feels quite long and I like that. Good tackle. Just couldn't find a pass. Good block. Made himself big. Oh, he did really well to get back. Gets it away as well. Just give someone the win if you're going to do that. What, what's the point? I've had two players leave at 0 0 in a row. They're just wasting my time, I'm wasting my contracts. Look at this. This is all because these players are leaving at 0 0. Ah. Thought Pellegrini could have won that. We're in trouble. Opponent finishes it. Bastoni went for a walk as well. Bastoni did well there. Saved us. Could have been 3-1 and game over almost. Ooh, great tackle. Kept the ball as well. Bastoni stuck a leg out there. Our oh, nine was almost in. Good tackle. Why'd he fall over though? We need you. Oh my goodness. Good long pass. Well, Reba. Oh my, Bastoni. That was my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well read again. Mm. 
We'll play Bastoni getting there first. Bastoni was there. Can we get one more chance? I don't think so. Rebic. Oh my god, he might be in. Oh my god, in the last seconds. Yes. <laughs> get in. We deserve that. So after six games, we didn't get any goals or assists with Bastoni, but that's not what we're looking for as a centre-back after all. My opinion on the card, well, I think it's a pretty decent budget option in the Serie A for the centre-back position. So his pace, he does feel fast enough. I think with the shadow of the anchor, I didn't really notice much difference. Obviously, the anchor makes him lengthy and boosts his physicals a bit, and the shadow boosts his pace more. I didn't notice too much difference. Also, with the anchor, I didn't really notice a physical improvement so i wouldn't really be using an anchor for that because he still felt the same to be honest with a shadow or an anchor so you might want the shadow just to boost his pace a bit more his long in-game build he just has really long legs that he sticks out and can get the ball where other players might not be able to do that so i like his in-game build his jockeying feels quite agile when you hold l2 or lt i mean he has pretty good dribbling stats for a center back i'm not putting that as a pro because he he's not great on the ball but for a centre back he's pretty good and that makes his jockeying quite fluid so yeah when you hold L2 LT he feels nice when he's jockeying and his defending when he tackles is pretty consistent it usually goes off how it should do so you either if you're meant to win the ball you should win the ball with him so yeah quite impressed with his defending overall and he's but he's a bit generic I won't say completely generic because he's pretty good in game but yeah, just doesn't do anything outstanding, unique, that sort of thing. Um, which is why I've given him an 8.9 out of 10, considering the fact he is only 35k at the moment. I'm sure he's going to drop some more. He has some decent links in the Serie A as well. I think it's a pretty good centre-back and a lovely option to have. Um, but yeah, that is only my opinion. Please like, subscribe and comment if you appreciate it. Take care.